Hi, this is Paolo from the NB Academy, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make bases like the ones in track Nightmares in Reality PIP by Culprit. So, this is the original track. And this is my recreation. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialist patch. We're going to be playing a low F. And the principle behind this sound is to use sine waves, noise, and distortion in creative ways. So let's begin by loading a sine wave. And then some noise. Adding some distortion. We're going to add a bit of compression. We're going to set this on multiband. Turn up the release. And then we're going to add a chorus at the end of this. We're going to change it into a high pass filter. Bring it down. Bring down the mix a little bit. And now we're going to go back into the main tab and we're going to add some movement into oscillator A. So we're going to map LFO number one into a level of this oscillator and then create a movement like this with the LFO, set it on trigger and change the rate of it. Then we can experiment by mapping the same LFO into a noise level, for example. And also changing the noise sample. And we can even experiment by filtering the noise. For example, we can use a multi filter like a low pass and a high pass by selecting this LH filter. So the cutoff will be the low pass filter and the frequency knob will be the high pass filter. Remove oscillator A from this filter and let's run the noise. And now let's play with this cutoffs. Let's roll out everything about 10k. And experiment with the frequency one. We can also get rid of all the resonance. And we can even add some drive into it. Cool, so this sounds good inside of Serum. Now let's jump into some post-processing. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is to saturate this even more and add tons of compression. So let's load a saturator right here and let's boost the drive. Let's bring the level of this channel lower just so we don't clip a lot. And then let's add a lot of compression. Let's add an OTT and we're gonna boost the time all the way up. Add a bit of op again, and then duplicate this OTT a couple times. Then we can add an EQ to compensate for some music frequencies. Usually the sub will be the strongest frequency, like this, but that sub is getting compressed by the OTT, so we can use this EQ to compensate and boost the sub even though it looks kind of productive, it works because we're not using this EQ to mix the sound. We're using this EQ as a sound design tool to boost certain harmonics. Cool, so we can also add a notch to get rid of some of the mid frequencies. and give a different character to the sound. Nice, so now we can go back and group this serum, duplicate the chain, and now we're gonna use this layer as the original sound, and we're gonna use the second one as an extra layer of noise. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add an EQ, cut everything except the noise, like this. Let's add a high cut. And we're gonna add an auto pan 
And how we're going to use this auto pan is we're going to modulate the amplitude of this noise to match the tune of the note that we're playing. So in this case, we're playing a low F, which is around 43.65 hertz. So we can put the amount all the way up, bring the phase all the way down. And now this auto pan is modulating the amplitude of our sound. And we can tune this, for example, we can type in 43.65 hertz. And now this is in tune with our first layer. And now if we layer these two together and mix them, we're adding an extra bit of grit into the sound, which is a really cool technique. I learned this technique from Coldplay, so we can't move forward without giving him credit for this. He's an amazing producer, so big up Coldplay. Cool, so now let's go into the end of our chain and let's add one last EQ. And now with this EQ, we can use a bell and modulate the frequency of this bell. And as you can see, we can add an extra layer of movement into the sound. So for example, we can automate this frequency. And introduce a new movement in the sound. So let's copy this modulation into all of the fourth notes. Like this. And we're going to copy this same modulation into the gain knob. So, just so we don't boost this off when it stays still. So we can see that we have this kind of movement. We can change this curve to adapt a bit better into it. Like this. So now... So now we have one cool movement. So now let's add another band. And let's set this band into a notch. And we're going to modulate this to go against the peak, like this. So let's modulate the frequency knob. And experiment with it. Cool, so let's duplicate all of this. And as you can see, you can use EQs like filters in a very creative way to add different movements into the sound. Cool, so now after this EQ, once again, I'm going to add one more OTT. We're going to bring this amount lower, boost the time a lot, increase the output. And then we're going to add some more highs with the EQ. And now we can go back into any point of the chain and change something. For example, we can go back even to Serum and change the filtering of the noise to accentuate more high frequencies or lower frequencies. We can mix the layers differently. And as you can see, we have a lot of different places to experiment. Let's try it without the movement of the EQ. Now with it. We can increase the drive on the saturator even more and bring the output down. So that is going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.